Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, um, my name is Brie. Just about all of you are new here now because I have not been here for the better part of a year. Um, I don't think I need to tell you guys where I've been. Um, we're in the middle of Panini, so things happen. But if you guys want an update, just let me know down below if you would like a life update. I don't think you really do. However, we're moving on. Today I'm actually here because it's Bay's birthday and we're going on a date night <laughs> and I wanted to check out this new wig that, I mean it's not new but it's new to me, I've never bought one. So it's called the Akili High Bun and it comes in this box and it's the Cloud9 Swiss Lace wig. If you guys know wigs, which you do because how are you here and you don't know wigs by now, you know that I do synthetic and real hair. Uh, more real hair than synthetic as of late. There really is no as of late but um, I kind of went back to my synthetic roots because they have been really really good with synthetic hair so this isn't a sponsored video or anything I actually paid for this with my own money because I wanted to see how good this hair was like this this actual wig was I've seen people do the 360 I don't really like the bun look so I don't think I'll keep it in the bun I don't even think I'll put the 360 back on the nape of my neck because I actually have a weird hairline in the back that's not really good for 360 wigs um so I'm just going to apply this wig and we'll see what she looks like okay so let's go so first off she's super heavy like this bun is really heavy it's really still super heavy it comes with a lot of insertions I guess to keep the shape of the wig so first off you have combs on the inside you guys can see those um, I don't like those, those typically ruin your real hair, but there's a comb in the back as well to the 360. There is the middle adjustable strap and then the bottom bar strap as well. If you guys can see, she does come pre-plucked, but I'm going to do some more plucking while it's on my head because I can already tell it's not plucked enough for my liking. Also, the lace is way too light, so what I'm going to do is just take my lace mixture that I made a while ago. I use it on all my wigs. I pretty much just spray the lace. Okay, so I'm just gonna adjust this strap. I have a very small head, so I like my wigs to be a little smoother than most people. And I'm just gonna tuck that back comb underneath that strap. Okay. This isn't terrible. Um, it fits pretty nice, actually. I'm gonna move my wig cap back. You can kind of see it. Nobody wants that. I don't do ball cap methods for synthetic wigs. Like I just don't take the time to do that. guys so now that I plucked it a little bit I still definitely need to pluck it some more but until I know how I'm styling it I'm not gonna sit here and pluck the entire wig um, I'm gonna just use my guys to be to lay this down in the meantime up in here and I did not think this through this 
It's like twisty tied or something. It's like a clip. Mm -hmm. There we go. This is like one of those banana bun clip things you see on the infomercials. It's like a cool in here though. I don't remember anybody else having this all the time. Getting this bad boy out of the bun. quickly the hair is super thin in the back if you can see this you can kind of see the tracks so you got to be really careful with it when it's down um, I'm just going out to dinner it's gonna be dark where we're going so we won't really hopefully nobody will be staring in the back of my head but for the hair to be so pretty in the front the back is throwing me off. I don't think this wig is worth $50 only because it's not thick enough in the crown, like in the head part. Um, I think what I'll end up having to do, because I do love the curls so, so much, is adding some tracks into it. But like, is it really worth doing all that for synthetic wig? I don't know. I think I can probably just find um, a better wig. So this hair, I'm gonna have to give it like a six out of ten because the curl is nice the lace is nice I like the baby hairs they were really easy to do and even though they're not staying down because I use like some really crappy edge control um, they were cool but the curl is really why I got this hair and it is really giving so the curl is giving but the actual wig leaves much to be desired as well as the fact that it does tangle and it probably is going to shed i think it is going to shed um i didn't have to do much plucking to the part the part was great you get a lot of parting space right there it looks really realistic so um i think i look super strong like okay, everything like, yes i look super strong oh yeah i've been working out but yeah um i i like the wig I don't think it'll last very long. I think it'll mat, and then that's all she wrote. You'll have to really go through, um, re rot it, put in some hot water or something. Maybe I'll do an update with how this held up over the next week or so and what I would do to refresh it, revamp it. But 
As of now, I don't think I can give you guys the okay to go purchase the wig. If you really want to check it out and really want to do this review for yourself, then the link is definitely down below. But for the price tag, $50, I don't think you'll get more than like a week, two weeks out of this wig. So, yeah, that's all. It's really pretty though. She's really cute. She's super cute. She's cute, super glamorous, not glamorous. So if you're doing a one night, special night thing, then I think you can go ahead and splurge for it. But other than that, go ahead and pass up on this one. Well, it was really great seeing you guys again. Seeing you, I've seen the camera lens, but you see me. And it was really great talking to you. Hopefully I can get the gumption to get back on camera on a regular basis. I do miss doing YouTube. It just wasn't sparking joy for the moment and I am all about doing what makes me feel good and what makes me happy. So until I get happy and in that groove, I don't like to do things I don't want to do. So <laughs> I wanted to do this one. I'm happy that I was able to get this up for you guys. Hopefully I don't get stalled in the editing process. but. I'm not even going to tell you to hit the subscribe and notification bell button because I am super inconsistent right now. So I'm just happy to see you guys. I love you. Mwah. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully soon.